Episode 56 XM September 5, 2024 Lip Reader Transcript When Presidential Debate Mics Were Muted In Episode 56 XM September 5, 2024 One Lip Reader Transcript When Presidential Debate Mics Were Muted 2 World 3 Arizona 4 California 5 Idaho 6 Michigan 7 Minnesota 8 Oregon 9 Utah 10 Washington 11 Canada 12 United Kingdom 13 Europe 14 The Netherlands 15 Ghana 16 Nigeria Islamic extremists in Nigeria set buildings ablaze 15 A Ghana Smoke from wood fuel harmful to pregnant women. Use liquid petroleum gas LPG stoves instead of wood burning stoves. 17 China, 18 India, 19 Japan. Japan's Takatoyo biomass co fired plant delayed further. 20 Thailand, 21 p.m., 2.5, and human health. Main content. One lip reader transcript when presidential debate mics were muted. Shake Dapper. Shake Dapper and Ms. Vivid dash back here as moderators of this presidential debate, which up to now has gone well, don't you think, Vivid? By the way, Vivid. Why did you change your name from Vuvuzela after the last presidential debate in June 2024? Since we are waiting for the two speakers to come back from an extended break where one of them is trying to get his thoughts back in order after a hissy fit? Ms. Vivid Dash, from Wikipedia. My name on June 27, 2024 was still my birth name Vuvuzela. The Vuvuzela is a horn with a plastic shell extending two feet, which produces a loud monotone note, typically around B-flat 3, the first B-flat below middle C. The indoor noise level of Vuvuzelas caused the United States NCAA to permanently ban them after the February 7th, 1987 Division I men's ice hockey game between Brown University and the Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, RPI. The noise was so extreme that Brown University formally complained and the Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, RPI rule, was universally adopted. Shake Dapper. Little known fact, vivid, little known fact. What has that got to do with how you got your name? Ms. Vivid Dash. My parents had no idea of what to name me until they both watched that NCAA contentious game together on the eve of my birth. I was born on February 8, 1987, the day after the Vuvuzela ban during ice hockey games was conceived of. I am 37 years and 7 months old today, this momentous day of this presidential debate. Shake Dapper. Does age really matter during this debate? Vivid? The debater who is going to mutter to himself loud enough for the other debater to hear when the mutter's mic is muted is 78 years, 3 months, and 1 week old today. The debater who is going to run through the legal actions that have been taken against the mutterer is 59 years, 10 months, and 3 weeks old today. The mutterer is 18 and a half years older than the legal eagle. Our lip reader will catch it all and immediately type the mouth but muted words into a transcript of what was said while the mics were muted. That lip reader transcript will explain the contorted facial expressions of the 78-year-old when his mic is muted and the lip reader transcript will explain the expressions of kind concern on the face of the legal eagle while she runs through her and the American public's legal options in real time. Ms. Vivid Dash. Well, my point was that one of the debater's voices reminds me of that far-off eve of my birth. I watched the replay of the NCAA game recently, and one of the debaters' voices spoke to me in June 2024, as if from the grave of archived NCAA Vuvuzela footage, so to speak. The pitch is that of the mythical Vuvuzela. It is a monotone buzz that penetrates even amniotic fluid, and it must have reached my tiny, tinny, ears at that time. Shake Dapper. This is getting uncomfortably graphic and yet is incredibly boring vivid. The detail is vivid but the subject is boring except that he intends to become a dictator on day, one if he wins this debate today. Ms. Vivid Dash. Like that loudmouth debater on that momentous day on June 27, 2024, Shake. After hearing that obnoxious Vuvuzela squawk one last time, I had to change my name immediately the next day June 28, 2024 two months and 13 days ago today. You can shake your head at me, shake, but don't rustle your papers loudly again, shake, or our joint moderator Mike will be cut off again, shake dapper. Okay, the debaters are coming back on stage. They've discussed haircuts and lapel pins so far. The next question is, indoor residential wood burning, for or against, shake dapper. Hello again, competitors. Each of your closing remarks must address the issue of air pollution caused by indoor residential wood burning, and you will each be given 30 seconds. Surprise us, speakers. The coin toss gave the first closing remarks to the current vice president. Current vice president, rebates of up to $8,000 based on a sliding income scale are being rolled out by each United State in 2024 for heat pumps that work down to 40 degrees below zero. Here we are in September and heat pump rebates have been in effect in New York State since May 31st, 2024. Wisconsin is the second state to roll out these air clearing and global warming fighting heat pumps rebates in this wonderful and fateful month on September 2024. A full rebate of $8,000 is possible in Madison, Wisconsin in September 2024 for a family of four with a median income of $97,800. Heat pump rebates of up to $8,000 based on a sliding income scale will be available at Focus on Energy in Wisconsin, including in the capital city of Madison, Wisconsin in September 2024. Go to http focusonenergycom slash residential slash heating dash and dash cooling 80% of median Madison income is $97,800 for a family of four and 80% of median Madison income qualifies residents for up to an $8,000 rebate on heat pumps that work down to 40 degrees below zero. Fahrenheit and centigrade temperature scales briefly converge at 40 degrees below zero. Don't go back to the bad old days of indoor residential wood burning. What else has happened since June 27, 2024? The United Kingdom's wood burning power plant tracks has been fined 33 million United States dollars for using wood from protected Canadian forests in their wood burning operations and hiding those facts from the United Kingdom government. But there is still the threat of air pollution from wood burning in the United Kingdom. Drax still has a multi-billion Great British Pound taxpayer money contract to burn wood in its United Kingdom industrial plant and Drax still has a multi-billion Great British Pound taxpayer money contract to bury the emissions under the ocean floor in yet another expensive and dubious carbon capture scheme that has been tried for decades and never works. Just don't burn wood to begin with. 
A report from Ember has shown that Drax switching from wood burning to coal burning has increased Drax CO2 emissions fourfold, rather than reducing any CO2 emissions in reality. But in a ray of hope, the United Kingdom serves as an example of tough, at least tougher than the United States, legislation against wood burning stoves that emit PM2.5 that enters the yards of near neighbors and sickens them. Lip reader transcript. The past pass say prez is muttering something. From the transcript. Pass pass say prez. I have never said this before, but get to the point current vice prez. Current vice president. These heat pumps, which run on electricity and so do not burn any fuel that pollutes the air, can connect to an electric grid that reaches all rural areas, soon to be powered by only the clean energy of wind, solar, and geothermal. Heat pumps also reduce monthly heating bills immediately and can be used as air conditioners as well. Natural gas furnaces can be used in the meantime as a bridge to the cleaner energy sources based on wind, solar, and geothermal energy. Based on testing of the cleanest burning wood stove in the United Kingdom, the EcoDesign Wood Burning Stove. Wood burning emits 450 times the PM2.5 as the fossil fuel natural gas burning, and wood burning emits 2.8 times the PM2.5 as the fossil fuel coal burning. Other indoor wood burning appliances such as fireplaces emit even more air polluting PM2.5 which also reaches the yards of near neighbors and also sickens them. Wood burning emits 90% PM2.5, particulate matter of 2.5 micrometer size, the perfect size to infiltrate the human lung, setting off a cascade of human health problems and early deaths. PM2.5 also contributes to hastening climate change. Laws should be passed to use Purple Air PM2.5 monitors hyperlocally in the yards of near neighbors of indoor residential wood burners to gather data on levels of PM2.5 above Environmental Protection Agency, National Ambient Air Quality Standards, EPA NOx, or World Health Organization, WHO, PM2.5, safe, standards of 5 micrograms per cubic meter, and use that data as evidence to shut down polluting indoor residential wood burners, rather than continue using the failed, according to the Office of the Attorney General, OIG. Watchdog of the EPA, New Source Performance Standards, and SBS, Program of Wood Stove Certification, which results in most or all of wood stoves certified by the EPA since 1987 being highly polluting, and not meeting even the lax standards of the EPA because of giant loopholes to compliance by wood stove manufacturers. Do I have any time left? Shake dapper. Shake dapper. 10 seconds. Current Vice President. I care about the health and lives of my fellow Americans, and I work every day to lower costs for drugs, along with my friend Ernie. You know him from Sesame Street. By preventing illness and early death for near neighbors of indoor residential wood burners, medical costs will also be cut in the United States, and that darn deficit will be eliminated. Also, the feedback loop of wildfire and indoor residential wood burning PM2.5 hastening climate change, and climate change causing flash floods and extreme heat this summer requiring the use of heat pumps as air conditioners, will slow down. Shake dapper. I'm impressed. You did compress that down to 10 seconds. Adieu. Our work of informing the American people is done. Ms. Vivid Dash, not so fast. Shake dapper. There is still one more to go. Pass pass say prez. Pass pass say prez. I demand a full 30 seconds. My words are coming out quite slowly, I may be having a stroke, and my windmill arms must remind you of the windmills I rail against so often. I am having a stream of consciousness. Stay with me, with a stretcher close at hand. I will not answer your question, but instead sign off as I always sign off, incoherent and rambling. I am a rambler, don't you know? My cognitive test is of interest to you. I took a cognitive test many, many years ago. Genius. I am a genius. Tax breaks for the rich, rich, rich. I went to a convention in a horrible town, horrible, but you. Misunderstand me when I say that. Vuvuzela. Vuvuzela. See. They will pass a law against my voice. I am being railroaded, and railroads are bad, especially electric trains. I played with electric trains as a child, and I crashed them. Always create chaos and never explain. My motto, my way of life, really, follow me. No, don't follow me, because I have the last word. Shake dapper, pass pass say prez adieu. Ms. Vivid dash, we must dash. Adieu also, and good night. Main content, two world. Annual report highlights key air quality trends clean link. Particulate matter 2.5 microns, PM 2.5, annual, 37%, from 2000. Particulate matter 2.5 microns, PM 2.5, 24-hour, 29%, from 2000, 3A Arizona. Labor Day weekend wildfires on the Tonto National Forest My Radio Place crews are also working the wood fire, west of Arnett Creek and south of Forest Road 4. The lightning sparked fire is burning in inaccessible terrain, 3B Arizona. Phoenix fire crews contain blaze involving lithium-ion batteries, AZ family multiple fire and fire crews tackle lithium-ion battery blaze in West Phoenix. Wood fire hood line the Phoenix battery fire and the wood fire near Superior are reminders of the persistent risks that businesses and natural landscapes face from 3C Arizona Superior. Lightning caused wood fire grows to 2,200 acres near Superior KLD Superior. Arizona AZ family, a wildfire burning east of the valley has grown to more than 2,000 acres since its start over the weekend. The wood fire Arizona Superior. Lightning caused wood fire grows to 2,200 acres near Superior AZ Family Superior. Arizona AZ Family, a wildfire burning east of the valley has grown to more than 2,000 acres since its start over the weekend. The wood fire wood fire grows to more than 2,000 acres near Superior AZ Family Tonto National Forest for California San Francisco. Disparities found in children experiencing asthma emergencies from wildfire smoke. Helio children were divided into turtiles determined by home ownership, education, and poverty, as well as average annual daily PM 2.5 levels. According to the study, these daily rates were even greater for children of color, with a 95% increase in asthma exacerbations for Hispanic and Latino children in the San Francisco Bay Area during the wildfire. 5A Idaho Blaine County Premier gravel bike race overcomes fire and smoke to complete epic race sports illustrated it turned out to be a stunning, clear, and beautiful day in the Wood River Valley ideal for fast and competitive cycling. For the RPI Community 5B Idaho The Central Idaho Dispatch Zone is at high fire danger, Cam VD burning and subalpine 5C Idaho Twin Falls. 
Glendale Fire near Bellevue up to 400 acres Cambidi the Wood River, 6 Michigan. Wildfire smoke aloft brings haze to West Michigan WODTV.com Grand Rapids. Michigan with more than 50 wildfires burning in the Saskatchewan province of Canada brought a batch of wildfire smoke to the upper 7A Minnesota. Air quality alert issued for northern Minnesota due to Canadian wildfire smoke lakes area radio the MPCA recommends reducing activities that contribute to air pollution, such as outdoor burning, use of wood burning stoves, and vehicle idling. 7B Minnesota. Woodina County included an air quality alert for northwestern Minnesota Woodina Pioneer Journal burning and use of residential wood burning devices. Reduce vehicle smoke webpage for actions you can take to protect your health against wildfire 8A Oregon. Air quality alert affecting Oregon Oregon Live. Com Oregon Live wood burning stoves and other sources of indoor smoke if possible. Air quality alerts. Recommendations from NWS. When an air quality alert pops up 8B Oregon. Air quality alert affecting Oregon Oregon Live. Com Oregon Live wood burning stoves and other sources of indoor smoke if possible. Air quality alerts. Recommendations from NWS. When an air quality alert pops up 8C Oregon. Pile of wood waste debris catches on fire in Sherwood KGW people near southwest Alka Lane in Sherwood can expect to see smoke as firefighters work to extinguish the fire. 9. Utah Wasatch County. Heber gets first DQ air quality monitor in Wasatch back KPCW PM 2.5 is shorthand for particulate matter that's 2.5 microns or smaller far too tiny for the human eye to see without a microscope. Particle 10 Washington. WA Firewood Suppliers record huge supply glut amid cost of living crisis. Online competition ABC Albany Eco House owner Jessica Wood said the warmer winter had also impacted the sales of wood fire heaters at her business. This winter we have 11 Canada British Columbia. Prescribed burns boost stone sheep habitat in northeastern BC with business Canadian forest industries they successfully enhanced over 600 hectares or 1,400 acres of stone sheep habitat using prescribed burning treatments. The resulting post burn 12A United Kingdom. Intensive pig farming is contributing to air pollution in the UK, says new report Envirotech Online Ammonia, released by Livestock Waste, can combine with other pollutants to form fine particulate matter, PM2.5, which can penetrate deep into 12B United Kingdom Liverpool. People could be fined 1,000 pounds as blanket ban brought in Liverpool Echo Wood and coal burning stoves as well as garden bonfires. Article continues below. Homes within smoke control orders are not permitted to emit smoke 13A Europe. Commission launches consultation on NEC Directive Environment European Union Particulate Matter, PM2.5, 13B Europe. Europe's air pollution, related CVD deaths 4x those of US Medscape particulate matter with a diameter of 2.5 m, PM 2.5, the researchers explained. It's a political matter, and air pollution is not something that 14 the Netherlands. Ireland has the best air quality, Eindhoven the worst IO innovation origins innovation origins. New data by the European Environmental Agency shows the concentration of particulate matter PM 2.5 in European cities. 15A Ghana. Smoke from wood fuel harmful to pregnant women. Use liquid petroleum gas LPG stoves instead of wood burning stoves. Ghana News Agency Accra, September 2nd, GNA. The Sikir South District Health Promotion Officer, Ashanti Region has warned that wood fuel smoke poses. Ghana. Smoke from wood fuel harmful to pregnant women. Health Promotion Officer. Business Ghana The Sikir South District Health Promotion Officer has stated that exposure to smoke poses significant health 15B Ghana. Smoke from wood fuel poses health risks Ghanaian times smoke from wood fuel poses health risks. September 4th, 2024. 16 Nigeria. Islamic extremists in Nigeria set buildings ablaze. Excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against wood smoke emission particulates, a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Maiduguri, Nigeria, AP, September 4, 2024. At least 100 villagers were killed in northeastern Nigeria when suspected Boko Haram Islamic extremists opened fire on a market, on worshippers, and in people's homes, residents said Wednesday, the latest killings in Africa's longest struggle with militancy. More than 50 extremists on motorcycles rode into the Tarmiwa council area of Yob State on Sunday evening and began firing before setting buildings ablaze, according to Yob police spokesperson. 17 China. Assessing the impact of urban road transport development on haze pollution in the Yangtze Nature Third, YRD region suffers severe environmental problems, in which the annual mean PM2.5 was much higher than the level 2 standard value. 18A India. Pollution kills more than tobacco, malnutrition, can shorten life expectancy by two years study the Jerusalem Post the Air Quality Life Index AQLI study conducted in India, where the PM2.5, particulate matter that is 2.5 micrometers or less in diameter, is 40G-5 although 94 countries have established their own PM2.5 standards 18B India monthly ambient air quality snapshot. August 2024 Center for Research on Energy and Clean Air NCAP Cities. The monthly average PM2.5 levels in 79 NCAP cities, out of 96 cities with more than 80% of days with data, surpassed the WHO's daily 18C India. Transforming air pollution management in India with AI and machine learning technologies nature concentrations of particulate matter, PM2.5 and PM10, have surged beyond 500 micrograms per cubic meter, while nitrogen oxides, NO2, have exceeded 10 micrograms per cubic meter. 19 Japan. Japan's Takatoyo Biomass co-fired plant delayed further. Excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against wood smoke emission particulates, a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Latest market news Argus Media Jera also plans to resume burning wood pellets imported from the US and Vietnam. The company new safety measures include slowing down the speed of 20 Thailand. Remodel working on solutions to PM2.5 pollution in North Nation Thailand Severe PM2.5 pollution is having a dire effect on the environment and way of life in Northern Thailand, forcing many businesses to close and leading 21 APM2.5 and cardiovascular morbidity. Curious. Unraveling the nexus between ambient air pollutants and cardiovascular morbidity PM2.5, fine particulate matter, less than or equal to 2.5 micrometers diameter, processes involving combustion, car engines, power plants, home heating, and industrial 21 BPM2.6 and psoriasis. 
Does long-term exposure to air pollution increase psoriasis risk? Dermatology advisor particulate matter with a diameter of less than 2.5 micrometers PM 2.5.